Imagine a time machine that doesn't take you to a specific place, but instead lets you peek into the past through the tiniest of clues, ancient bones, teeth, or even a single strand of hair. That's what ancient DNA technology does for scientists today. It's like reading a very old, fragile book where many pages are missing, but the words you can make out tell an incredible story. In this case, the story is about the people who lived in Ireland thousands of years ago and what they might have looked like. One surprising discovery from this research is that early Irish farmers who lived around 4000 BC probably had darker skin than the Irish people we know today. This idea is captured in the bold claim, the Irish weren't always white. But what does that really mean? And how do we know? Let's take a journey through time, science, and human history to find out. First, let's understand what ancient DNA is. DNA is like a recipe book for life, containing instructions for how our bodies are built, including traits like eye color, height, and yes, skin color. When people die, their DNA starts to break down, but tiny pieces can survive in bones or teeth for thousands of years. Scientists have developed ways to extract and read these tiny pieces, almost like piecing together a puzzle with most of the pieces missing. By comparing this ancient DNA to the DNA of people living today, researchers can figure out where ancient people came from, who they were related to, and even what they might have looked like. It is not perfect, sometimes the puzzle has too many gaps, but it is the best tool we have to learn about our distant ancestors. Now, let's talk about skin color. Skin color isn't just one thing controlled by a single gene. It's a complex trait influenced by many genes working together. Think of it like a paint palette, where different genes add different shades to create the final color. Some genes make skin lighter, others make it darker, and the combination determines what we see. In modern humans, skin color varies widely, from very dark to very light and it's often linked to where our ancestors lived. People whose ancestors lived in sunny places, like Africa, tend to have darker skin to protect against the sun's rays. Those from less sunny places, like Northern Europe, tend to have lighter skin to help their bodies make vitamin D from limited sunlight. But here, s the key point. Skin color can change over time as people move to new places and adapt to new environments. That's exactly what happened in Ireland. Ireland's human history is like a series of waves crashing onto its shores, each wave bringing new people with their own unique traits. The first wave was the Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, who arrived around 8000 BC. These were small groups of people who lived by hunting, fishing, and gathering wild plants. They likely came from Britain or mainland Europe, and based on what we know from similar groups, they probably had dark skin. For example, there's a famous ancient Briton called Cheddar Man, who lived around 10,000 years ago and had dark skin and blue eyes, a combination that s rare today. These early Irish hunter-gatherers were probably similar, with dark skin that helped them survive in the varied climates of Europe at the time. Then, around 4000 BC, a new wave arrived, the Neolithic farmers. These people didn't just hunt and gather, they brought something revolutionary, agriculture. They knew how to grow crops and raise animals, which allowed them to settle in one place and build more permanent communities. But where did they come from? Genetic studies show that these farmers originally came from the Near East, a region that includes modern-day Turkey and the Middle East. They migrated across Europe over thousands of years, bringing their farming skills with them and eventually reached Ireland. Here is where it gets interesting. These Neolithic farmers likely had skin that was lighter than the hunter-gatherers, but still darker than most modern Irish people. They carried a gene variant called slc 4 a 5 which is associated with lighter skin, but they didn't have all the other gene variants that make skin very pale, like many Europeans today. So their skin was probably somewhere in between, darker than what we might expect for people living in Ireland now. Fast forward to around 2500 BC, and another wave of people arrived, the Bronze Age migrants. 
These folks came from the steppes of Eastern Europe and Central Asia, and they brought new technologies, like metalworking and new genetic traits. Among these traits were additional gene variants for lighter skin, like SLC45A2. Over time, as these different groups mixed and adapted to the Irish environment, the population's skin color gradually lightened. By the time we get to modern Ireland, most people have very light skin, well-suited to the cloudy, low-sunlight climate. But how do we know all this? Let's look at some of the key genetic studies that have uncovered these details. One of the most important is a 2015 study by a team of Irish and British researchers, including Professor Dan Bradley from Trinity College, Dublin. They analyzed the DNA of ancient Irish people, including a woman who lived around 3200 BC, known as the Ballinahatty Farmer. Her remains were found near Belfast, and her DNA showed that she was part of that wave of Neolithic farmers from the Near East. While the study didn't directly analyze her skin color genes, later comments from Professor Bradley suggested that early Irish settlers like her probably had darker skin than modern Irish people. He based this on comparisons to other ancient European farmers and hunter-gatherers. For example, the Cheddar Man from Britain had genes indicating dark skin, while Neolithic farmers across Europe had genes suggesting intermediate skin tones. Another study in 2020 looked at more ancient Irish genomes, including a man buried in the famous New Grange Passage tomb around 3200 BC. This research focused on social structures, like whether these people were part of a ruling elite. But it also confirmed that these Neolithic farmers had genetic roots in the Near East, supporting the idea that they had darker skin than later populations. So, what does all this mean for the claim that the Irish weren't always white? Well, it is true in the sense that early Irish farmers likely had darker skin than the Irish today. But it's important to remember that white is a modern term tied to modern ideas about race, which didn't exist thousands of years ago. Ancient people didn't think of themselves as white or black in the way we do now. They were just people living their lives, adapting to their environments. The phrase, the Irish weren't always white, is a bit provocative, and it can spark debate because it uses modern language to describe ancient realities. Some people might misinterpret it, thinking it's about modern racial politics, but really it's about understanding how human traits evolve over time. There are also some challenges and controversies in this kind of research. Predicting skin color from ancient DNA isn't an exact science. It s based on probabilities. Scientists look at certain gene variants and make educated guesses about what they mean for skin color. But genes interact in complex ways, and other factors like diet or environment can also affect skin tone. Plus, when these findings are reported in the media, they can sometimes be sensationalized or misunderstood. For example, when the Cheddar Man's dark skin was revealed, some people questioned the accuracy of the prediction, while others saw it as a political statement. But geneticists emphasize that these findings are about evolution, not modern identity. As one researcher put it, it's not woke to portray prehistoric Europeans with dark skin, it's evolution. Despite these challenges, the evidence is clear. Early Irish farmers had darker skin than the people who live in Ireland today. This doesn't change who the Irish are now, but it does remind us that human appearances have always been diverse and constantly changing. Our ancestors didn't look exactly like us, and that's okay. It's part of what makes human history so fascinating. So, what's the big takeaway? Well, first, it's that our understanding of history is always evolving, especially with new technologies like ancient DNA analysis. Second, it's that traits like skin color are not fixed. They change over time as people move, mix, and adapt. And third, it's that we should be careful not to impose modern categories like race onto the past. The ancient Irish weren't T white or non white in the way we think of those terms today. They were just people, living in a world very different from ours. In the end, 
This research helps us appreciate the rich tapestry of human history. It shows us that we're all connected, that our ancestors came from many different places, and that our appearances have been shaped by countless journeys across the globe. So, the next time you look in the mirror, remember, your face tells a story of migration, adaptation, and survival, a story that's still being written.